once we get Undecillion. Okay, so we're about to approach the end. So yeah, see, I gotta fix some of these, some of this text issue. Hello guys, Cryptograns here. Welcome back to another Unity Idle game tutorial video. This is episode 36, and today we're going to be doing another notation. It's going to be the KMBTQ, the thousand, million, billion, trillion. Um, that's been highly requested. I mean, I've done another video on it in the past with the Clicker Heroes, but I'm just, I'm just going to add it on to this series so it kind of flows together. And it's very similar to our letter notation. So, except we're going to be adding a list of prefixes. So, anyway, let's hop into it. I believe this is located in... This is located in methods. So, let's hop right in. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Turn on those notifications to all videos so you get notified for all my new uploads. Comment your suggestions and all the good questions below or anything. Advice, compliments, anything down in the comments below. I'll make sure to read every single one of them and check out my other videos in the top right corner. Okay, so we are in our methods uh, class and we are in our notation method. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build onto this, okay? We're gonna add a third notation. And again, this is very similar to our, um, our letter notation. So this is a lot of copy and pasting, okay? So first of all, we need our exponent, which we do math.floor uh, log 10x, and if you, if you're new to this series and you're just starting here, basically log 10 um, takes the, um, let's say, uh, for example, log 10, let's say 40, 400, okay? It's just, it. Uh, let's do a better one, like 100, log 10, 100, it's 2, right? So it's, it's a, gra like a, um, how can I explain this? without being too confusing. If you just look up what log is um, or what the graph is, basically it's like an inverse of um, 10 to the x, okay? Okay, so if we graph log x or which is log base 10x and 10 to the x, you can see that these are pretty much inverses, right? This is just rotated and flipped, or it's literally just flipped over the x and y. So that's what log base x is. Same with, um, let's do example, log base 2 of x is the inverse of 2 to the x. So if we take these off, you can see they're inverses, okay? It's the complete opposite, right? So hopefully that makes sense. And what floor does, it, it basically does round, or it rounds it floor. So floor is like, what you're stepping on, right? It rounds down while ceiling it rounds up. Okay. See how it kind of just rounds up right here rather than getting the exact, um, two to the X. See that's floor and this is ceiling or which I think here is just seal, uh, seal. Yeah. You can see that there's a difference. Okay. So seal is before that and floor is right after that, okay? See how that steps up here, this steps up here, you know, okay, so that's how that works. So this is ceiling, this is floor, okay? So now here we find the amount of, or our current exponent. So we do floor log base 10 X, okay? So this can be just called exponent, right? Okay, okay, and now we need our exponent engineering here to determine, because again, this is the same thing as letter notation, so we're going to have 1a, 2, or 10a, 100a, 1b, okay? So we want to have this, um, let's replace this with exponent, we want to be able to show up to three digits, or yeah, up to 999.99, and then it'll switch to letters okay so this will be um i i can't think of a better name so i'm just gonna do third exponent i guess i don't know i don't know a better name than that other than something like this third exponent okay okay and before we continue on i feel like it's necessary to create a list of all these 
Okay, so we're going to do var prefixes equals new dictionary, and this is going to be int string. This is actually a double, double string, and we're going to predefine this. I see. We forgot the new. Okay, and now in here, let's do, so let's say, so three is going to be k. Okay, I think it looks like I can get rid of this. This is not being used. Okay. Uh, I'm going off of, uh, what website am I going off? Right here. Um, Crusaders of the Lost Idols. We're going, to, we're going over the large number abbreviations. So if you don't know what any of these abbreviations mean, here you go. Basically, this is the same thing as scientific, 1E3, 1E6, 1E9, 1E12, 1E15. Okay. Okay, so then they equal to all these like a thousand, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion, sextillion, septillion, which is all of these, okay? So we have our basic K, M, B, T, Q. Okay, so this is where we kind of get weird. So they do like, this person does like the lowercase Q and the capital Q. Now there's different ways of doing this. So I personally don't like that because I, it's, I don't know. I just don't like it. So this one's quadrillion. So I like to do quad, and then for quintillion, I like to do quin or quint. Or you can do uh, QA, QI, something like that. So like QI like that, and then you have QA. That also works. Also, we want to increment these by 3. So 3, 9, 12, 15. And you just keep building on this list till you want to end and where it automatically converts to scientific notation because that's just where it's kind of dumb. Okay, so we have quintillion. We have sextillion, right? Yep. Okay, so we have sextillion, septillion, octillion, nonillion, decillion. Okay, so 18. This is 1e18, 1e21, 1e... Oh, I was actually writing it out. 1E24, 2730. Okay, so this is going to be sextillion. So again, we're, we're again, we're at the S's, right? So, of course, it's not mature to just put sex, okay? People are going to, you know, be immature. Now, of course, you can do sex and sep. Now, people are going to be immature because, again, it's the internet. People aren't mature. So, for sexillion, um, uh, we can just do, <laughs> I hate this one, okay. This one's annoying. To <laughs> so, we can do septillion, you can literally just do sept, and then this one will be sext. <laughs> See, again, it's just, people are just so immature on the internet, okay. And I also like the full abbreviations too, sextillion, septillion. So you know what? Let's just, I hate this. Let's just do the full word, thousand. Okay. Okay. You can choose, oh, I also, I forgot one. There's a billion too. I forgot about billion. And then trillion, quadrillion. Quintillion. Okay, so that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four, twenty seven, thirty, thirty three. Okay, so after septillion is octillion. After that is nonillion, which is one e thirty, and then decillion, which is one e thirty three. Okay, we can continue beyond this where we go to undecillion. Okay, so let's add up to E60. All right, let's just go to 166. Okay, so that's all of this again. You know what? Let's just copy paste this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's fine. So we got 36, 39, 42, 43, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60. Uh, 66, right? Yeah. And you can keep building on this or you can automatically convert it. Okay. 
<clears throat> but I'm going to stop at 66 because this is getting lengthy, okay? So we have Decillion, Un Decillion. Alright, yeah, and then it goes Duo, Tre, Duo, Decillion, Tre, Decillion, Quad, Decillion. Is that how you spell it right? No, it's, oh wait, no, it's this. Quadoro, Decillion, I think that's how you say it. Ah, see, these just get really complex, which is, again, I hate this system with a passion. It's scientific is so much easier, and you're making this, so you should know how scientific not notation work after this, for sure. But this is just so ugly to read, and of course you can... letter No, letter no, regular letter notation is better than this, right? Rather than the full word. Yeah, Novendecillion... Vigentillion, Vigentillion, I, I don't know, it's Vig or Vig, Vig, and then Un, yeah, actually, no, this is just, yeah, okay, and again, it goes to Duo, Tre, y you see the pattern here, okay, here, we can literally just add one more here, or two more, let's do two more, so it's Duo, and then Tre, Vigantillion duo. Now, see, this is just not. I don't like this, right? So we have our list of prefixes, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, if x is greater than, uh, we're gonna do greater or equal than. All right. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay, that should be okay. Okay, so now we are, again, we're pretty much returning the same thing here, right? Okay, so we need to replace this with the uh, exponent, right? No, it's with third exponent. Okay, and we're going to get rid of this letter one because that's not what it is. It's actually prefixes at third exponent, okay? So again, we do this here because it goes to three, six, nine, here, I'll show you an example. So if we do three times floor, uh, let's do x divided by three. So if we do zero, this is obviously gonna be zero. If we do one, zero, zero, and now if it's three, we have three, which is a thousand, right? So that's if the exponent is 3. If the exponent is 5, it's going to be 3. If the exponent is 6, it's going to be 6. Okay? So that's how that system works. And let's see what's up here. It looks like this is a big double. Right? Yep. Okay. So I think we're done here. So basically what this does here, I've, I think I've explained this quite a few times in the past. But basically... It takes our mantisa, uh, so it takes our number, it divides it by our exponent, and our third exponent, because we don't want to divide by every exponent, or else it's just going to look like scientific notation, and instead of 100,000, it may look like 1,000 again, right? It'll just keep looping through that. So we do every third exponent, plus the prefixes right here, okay? And it looks like we should... So in this case, we should space these out because they're not, like, it, again, it really depends if you want to space them out or not. Like, so if you do KMBT, then you don't have to. You can do one space K, or you can just have no space spacing in here, in here. This is what mine looks like. This is what yours should look like. Now we need to, I think we need to, we need to make this switch thing still, right? Notation method. Oh, notation settings. Okay, so where do we adjust this? Yeah, okay, so now we're going to go to our change notation in the settings class, and we're going to add a 3. Okay, so we're going to replace this uh, case 2 with a 3, and we're going to set note in case 2 equal to 3, so then it can continue cycling through here. And also, we're going to do the same thing in the update notation text. We're going to add a 3, and we're just going to do... Uh, 
let's just call this I don't honestly what is this called large number abbreviations I don't I don't like that I don't know what it's called I would say f like word notation I guess okay so we're gonna do word notation that'll be the last one one thing I forgot to do is to automatically convert afterwards because if we have like 1e80 then it's gonna look kind of funky so let's go to our methods and what we're gonna do is after okay so in a new if statement here okay so if x is greater than or equal to 1e76 okay so this will support no it's actually 1e75 because 1e75 is 1000 trevigentillion okay so we're gonna do if x is greater than or equal than or is yeah greater than or equal than 1e75 we're going to return scientific notation so let's grab it up here this is scientific notation right here and honestly let's make a, a variable called mantisa while we're at it and that's gonna be this get rid of these commas it's x divided by um, 10 to the power of third exponent so pow 10 comma third exponent oh um, okay I see some issue here here let's copy this mantisa Oh, actually, you know what? This will just become engineering notation. Let's do that. So then now we do uh, mantisa uh, to string f2. And our exponent is um, it's going to be third exponent instead. This is basically science. This is basically engineering notation instead. OK, so after a certain amount of points instead of doing words, it's going to do exponents. So I'll demonstrate that. Let's encapsulate this because it's going to confuse everything. Okay, so if this is ha if this is true, else this will happen. I think this is redundant. Yeah, I figured. Let's mix things around. Okay, so basically, I'm going to inverse uh, invert this. So basically, what it's going to do is set this. So if x is less than or equal than one thousand, it's going to return just the number. If that's false, it's going to check if it's greater than or equal than 1e75. If it's true, it's going to return it as engineering notation. If it's false, it's going to return it as a word notation. So this is normal number. This is if 1e75 or more or more do engineering notation otherwise do word notation okay so hopefully that makes sense let's give this a shot I don't think we have to do anything inside here it should be done and ready for us okay so we're gonna have to switch our notation so let's go to our settings this changes to word notation. Oh, I see that they're, they're cutting off. I didn't notice that. Okay, uh, that's an issue. So we have some kind of display errors here. Yeah, okay, let's fix that real quick. Now this isn't like game breaking or anything, but it it's a simple fix. So this is our in our header. Why is our coin so freaking thick? I don't know. Can't tell you. Same with gems. Gems is really like thick boy too. Oh, this is best fit. We need this to be. Okay, why does coin stack not have best fit? Interesting. So no wonder why things kind of look funky sometimes. Okay. Well, let's. I'm just fixing some of my user interface. So if things look funky, if you can't see some text, just adjust the the best fit the font size and if you want it to scale based on how big the font or how large the string is inside the text then just turn on best fit and you can adjust the settings there okay so let's check this out ah uh, this is still not working okay why is this so big
Okay, this should work. Same with gems. Gems is way too big. So our user interface is kind of bad. I'm going to be completely honest. It's not looking good. <laughs> so just make some adjustments and it should look good. Okay, so we have 31.61 thousand. Okay, so again, this could be K with uh, without the space. So let's add some upgrades. Okay, by max. Where? OCD. So this is one worth 1.6 thousand now. I'm going to spend all of this. Okay, so now let's just watch this. Now I'm going to keep incrementing this number once we get to a thousand. Okay, so that works. Cool. So now let's go to our Earth. No, it's just Game Manager right here. So let's increment, uh, increment this number by one. So we have four, five, six, seven. All right, that's eight now. Okay, so I'm just going to increment this by one. This is eight. This is nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is one e twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We can just keep going. You can see that gradually works. Oh, oops, I accidentally did a double plus. One E 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. What's wrong? Okay, so we're gonna try something. I think the issue here is that we are part, we, we just keep creating this array every single time and I feel like we should just make a static a private static dictionary with big double and string okay this should work better let's see what's wrong with this make it read only yeah okay so now we're just going to initialize this dictionary outside because we don't want to create a new dictionary every single time we access notation because that's kind of sloppy okay i don't know why this works but what i did instead i replaced the dictionary to be it um the dictionary type to be an int and string okay so now since um third exponent is a type big double i decided to cast this third exponent as an int and for some reason it worked i don't know why I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know why. That's really weird. If some of you guys are better coders than me and you're watching this video and you don't understand why, please comment below. I'm very interested in why that didn't work. Even though it it literally prints 33, right? It, it was 33. There's no spaces or anything. I, I don't know. That, that was interesting. But anyways, let's continue. So we have undecalion. Okay, so we're about to approach the end. So yeah, see, I gotta fix some of these, some of this text issues. Okay, this is where we find out if it does it. Okay, this is the last one. Yeah, there we go. So now it's engineering notation. Cool. Beautiful. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications, and check out my other videos in the top right corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, I would just wanted to say, if you've been watching since the first video, I want to thank you very much. It means truly a lot to me, and that you've been around for such a long time. I have lots of stuff planned ahead of me. So if you plan on staying, thank you very much. We are now officially two Patreons away from the anti matter Dimensions series, so make sure you, if you want to join, I think the minimum cost is $3 a month, so that's all it takes to participate in this new series. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.